Hello, my name is Carlos from the Cloud Alliances team at Canonical. In my previous video, I showed you how to run an EKS cluster using Ubuntu worker nodes on FIPS mode. This is the second video and the final one that will show you how to create your own FIPS container with your own application inside and then publish it on ECR and deploy it then on EKS. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. Um, I have all my code in AWS code commit, which is a Git repository from Amazon. And I have there my Docker file, my proconfig YAML file, which is containing my, do my token and the services that I would like to enable. Then I have the application code, which is just a single file on PHP with that will allow me to check whether I'm running on FIPS mode or not. Okay. Then we're going to build it. I have launched an EC2 Ubuntu machine. I just installed AWS CLI version 2 and then in order to publish it to ECR you need an IAM role which grants the machine access to ECR okay on ECR in order to publish our container image there we need to create a repository we are going to do it also on the video and then we are going to use kubectl to grab our image from ECR and deploy it on our EKS Ubuntu FIPS cluster so let's get started. Okay, so here is the machine. I have the three files here. One is a Docker file, the other is the application. I have everything packed in one single file for simplicity. And then I have the pro attach config channel file. This file has my token and also the default services that I would like to enable once this machine enable pro services. So let's see what is there. So I can see here, this is my token. Okay. Um, I'm using a free personal token that is up to five machines. This is okay for, for this. This If you want to scale up, uh, then you, you will have a proper Ubuntu Pro token. Um, on the services that I would like to, to enable by default is FIPS, of course. Since this is just a container, I don't need the FIPS kernel, but this will install the FIPS crypto modules needed for being FIPS compliant. Okay, then uh, I'm enabling ESM. ESM Infra covers my operating system layer and then ESM apps cover third-party open source software. So if there is any vulnerability affecting some of the PHP version that I'm using, I, I can get the security patches directly thanks to ESM apps. Okay, so let's take a look at the Docker file. All right, so I'm using from, from public ECR on AWS the latest Ubuntu 20.04. Um, this is just metadata and so first thing I'm running an update then installing the CA certificates um, package and the Ubuntu Advantage tool this is the tool that I'm going to use for enabling pro services um, if you have watched previous videos we called it Ubuntu Advantage for enabling ESM and premium services but now everything is under, under the same umbrella of pro then second step I'm going to uh, mount the secret files here with the config, of course, and I'm running pro attach. Pro is the tool that you just installed here. I'm calling it attach. Use this config file. And what it's going to do is to attach token that, that I already gave in the file and then enable FIPS and ESM services. Running an upgrade, installing Apache and PHP, and uh, cleaning up just detaching and removing what I already uh, added. Finally, I'm copying the application to the directory where it's storing my HTML file for Apache, exposing port 80, and that's it. Finally, I'm just having here in the file um, a hint how to build it. We're going to build this uh, Docker image with Docker build kit, okay? which is the new engine that, that Docker has for for more context scenario. In this case, I'm using a, a secret file, so I, I cannot do it without build kit. Okay, so that's it. Let's build the container. I am just pasting in um, docker build command with my secret file. I'm just checking that everything is, is on track. If you see, I haven't installed docker. As I told you before, for doing this exercise, you need on the machine the role. For publishing uh, into ECR, you need um, AWS CLI and you need Docker. But installing Docker is, is very easy. Install Docker. 
I, I'm using Snap, so I don't care about versions of my Ubuntu. I don't care about uh, dependencies and anything else. So now that Docker is installed, I can run this again. Okay, I'm. I mean, the building process already started. You can see that it's getting updated, and while it builds, I'm going to head back to um, ECR and create the pub, the private repository. So here I am at ECR. I already have one repo that I use for other purposes, and I'm going to create a private repository. So you can create a public one, but normally in your company, um, you would like to keep things private, right? So um, I'm using my FIPS registry as a name. Encryption, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving everything by default, but encryption is always advised. And I'm hitting create repository now. So I have my FIPS registry here and it's done. I'm going back to the console. But before um, I can show you that here you have all the instructions for pushing, okay? So you can see that the first step is to uh, get the login, making Docker to login into, into our repository. Uh, in order for this to work, you need two things. One, to get to have installed AWS CLI version 2 onwards on the machine. That's what I, I mentioned it earlier. Uh, but it's, it only works from version 2 onwards, okay? Remember that. And the second thing is that that machine has to have the role attached. Otherwise, the, this will create uh, a login that we, it will tell you that it successfully logged in but it won't work right then yeah this is showing you how to build it we already are on that um then we need to tag it and push into our registry is as simple as that all right so uh let's get back to the console if it is still building we're gonna pause the video for the sake of time okay so now it's done um we have Let's see, uh, sudo docker images, just to see it. Here it is, beautiful. Then we're going back to our our instructions. We're copying here how to tag it. Because we, if you see, we have, let me, let me do it again. If you see here, we have uh, a different name for our, our image. So we are going to paste the real one. And for the sake of exercise, we are going to just rename it. Okay, so these are the images. You can see that we have already the, the, the target image here. Um, we are going to call the, the login functionality and I need sudo to run Docker correctly. Okay, login succeed and I already tagged here the image because I jumped in before into that and that should work. All right, if the login didn't succeed, you will get here timeouts, okay? So remember that you need to attach an ECR access role into this machine, then run the AWS login, and then you will be able to, to do this push in this way. Just very simple. And that's it. Now that we have the image there, we should be seeing it here. Let's refresh. And there you go. This is the latest image. It showed you everything. And uh, now the, the final step is to deploy it. Okay, so here we are back at the console. I'm not longer on the EC2 machine, but my own computer because I already have kubectl configured with access to my cluster and I'm too lazy to um, do it again on the other computer. So let's see at this, uh, I'm creating this deployment file. So I'm using just um, boilerplates from other pla places. And um, here I have EKS FIPS. I have the name, the name of the deployment, how many replicas do I need for this? Um, and then here we have the image. And we're gonna take the image from our repository. Here we have the URI, we paste it in here. And that's it. 
now we should be able to deploy it. Create with a file deployment. Rock kill. All right, this is my deployment. This is getting ready. Okay. And if you want to see um, the, the application running, you can either expose a port, you can create an old port and expose it on the internet. You need to open uh, those ports also on the machine. So it's a little bit uh, complicated, but we're going to do it in a more elegant way. We're going to create a load balancer also using kubectl. All right, so I'm pasting in also this command line. This is to expose um, a deployment through uh, load balancers on port 18. Okay, get services. This is the load balancer. Let, let me do it here. Okay, so we should give it some time, but after some minutes, we should be able to see the application running here on this URL. Okay, we just need to wait a little bit. So while we wait for the Elastic Load Balancer to, to get ready, I'm going to show you here what are the contents of index.php, all right? So I have, of course, a title, but there's just um, styles for getting a nicer page. Okay, so just ignore it. But here it is the PHP part. So for example, for understanding whether a system is running on FIPS mode or not, you need, you need to check whether this file exists on your file system and it, it, if it contains a one on, on it, All right? Because this is just reflecting the configurations of um, the kernel and if FIPS mode is enabled, you will see it here, All right? This, this is applicable to every uh, FIPS kernel uh, on Linux. Okay, so if we get something, you, you can say, yeah, congratulations, your system is on FIPS mode. And if not, you will see it also here in a nice title. Then um, some information about the system. So you get the uname to see the kernel that you have installed and, and whatnot. And finally, I am listing up here all the packages that are installed. Okay, so you can see every package that has the FIPS tag on it. Okay. So let's get back to the to the page. And as you can see here, it is already loaded and you can see the page here. So you see the styles also. Uh, this is the uname information. As I, as I mentioned before, this is information about the kernel. We are running the AWS FIPS kernel version 5.4. This is Ubuntu 204 uh, and, and all of that information. And you can see that FIPS is enabled and you can see all the libraries that, is, that are already installed. Remember that these libraries are installed on the container while the kernel is running on the worker nodes. That, that is why you need an EKS Ubuntu worker nodes on FIPS mode, okay? Um, you can use this page if you want, this uh, container. Uh, I'm gonna share in the descriptions. I'm gonna share with you the, the repository containing the files. You know how to build this, this container now. Uh, don't use it for production, just for checking your own installations maybe. And that's it. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.